you could see in the second half when we came back that Thornwell took the game over and had they had great poise, great poise. Um, and that's why uh, they're good. You know, those seniors, I think, give them a chance to beat anybody on any given night because uh, uh, they've been through the wars and uh, demonstrated it again tonight. Billy, was it a case of South Carolina maybe just having a few too many weapons? Uh, Thornwell and Notis didn't play that well in the middle, but then they had the freshman Felder kind of step up. Felder hit some big shots. You know, uh, this team, I've said, reminds me of our team last year. They've got great senior leadership and, uh, and uh, togetherness, and then they've got freshmen who are coming off the bench or, or coming in the game uh, and just playing real loose because – those seniors are, are carrying a lot of weight, and uh, you know that's why they're a very good basketball team. What'd you think of the way they adjusted uh, in the second half in the paint? And they only held you. They held you guys to six points in the paint in the second half. You know, I, they make it so hard to get the ball in the paint, and, and our freshman and our sophomore Tyler Davis, Tyler struggled. You know. Um, and he's struggled the last three games. Uh, they had something to do with it, but uh, we got guys who can play better. You know, uh, Tyler Davis is a better player than he's playing right now, and Robert Williams is still learning, and Tony Trosha. We, we got to get more production out of all three of those guys. Billy, a couple of questions. One, was Tyler okay? It seemed like he was maybe breathing a little hard out on the court, or, or is that a normal uh, thing for him? As he's, he's trying too hard. I mean, he is really uh, – he's a hard worker, and he's a great kid, and he's putting a lot of pressure on himself, and he's he's learning. He's he's getting double teamed, and uh, teams are, are focusing on him, and he's not making the right plays that he'll make uh, later in the year. And also, you guys shot close to 70% in the first half. Was there a flaw in their defense that you found, or were the shots just going? Well, DJ Hogue had a, a great game. Um, but that's how they play. That They will pressure you. And uh, if you don't turn it over, you got an opportunity to get a, get a good shot. But uh, 15 turnovers in the first half make, you know, Make it. I'm, I was shocked when I saw 70%, but when we got a good shot, we made it. Billy, when, when you guys came back to take that, that last lead, 59 58, I think, did you think, okay, now we're running what we want to run and we can finish this out the way we want to? You know, I, I thought. We would be. We got two wide open threes um, from J.C. Hampton, and uh, we got to make those on the road. And then I, I just it seemed like since Thornwell, you could just see a guy who was playing at an, another level, uh, and went and made a couple of plays, uh, and he separated the game himself. Alex Caruso or Daniel House did that for us last year, so. Um, I've saw I've seen it in our on our team and I don't like seeing it on on the other team.